Hey guys, this is going to be my November favorites video. So let's get started. I'm going to start with like the, I guess like, not necessarily skin, but okay, body stuff or whatever. So I've really been into this um, Freeman clay mask and avocado with oatmeal. Like my skin around this time gets like really, I already have dry skin, but it gets extra dry when it's cold. So I need to do more than just cleanse it. So I've been using this this um, facial clay mask and I use this about twice a week and I just put it on my face and it's a really I don't know it's like a mint green color kind of let me see that yeah so it's a mint green color and it feels so good and it smells good it smells like avocado yeah avocado is an oatmeal it smells really good and when you finish I mean, when you rinse it off your face feels really soft so I love this so it's very like moisturized it also Firms and smooth skins, and it declouts your pores. So, I love this. I've been using this twice a week, and my skin has been a lot smoother and less dry. Another thing, um, like I said about my skin, my skin in general, like as far as lotions, I need something very thick because my skin gets very dry during the cold season. So, I really love this, and I only use this when it's cold because in the summer it's too thick and it just I sweat it off and it just feels so sticky. So I like this um this is from Victoria's Secret. This is the ultra softening body butter in passion, coconut passion. I like this. I have a bunch of these but this is my favorite 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 scent. And you can tell. I'll show you. It smells so good. It's um like I said coconut passion. I really think it smells like coconuts, but it smells so freaking good. It has like a nice light smell. And I love to put this on right when I get right before I go to bed and forget out the tub at night and put a bunch of it on. I just love the feeling of when you wake up in the morning and you move the covers and this is all you smell. It smells so good. And then you still you can still smell it on me throughout the day because people always ask me, like, what do you have on? A lot of times I don't put perfume on and it's just this. And you see I like use quite a bit, like I've hit the bottom of this. I use quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, so this week I'm going to have to get me another one of these because I'm almost done. And although I have other scents, this is my favorite scent. And this was actually given to me last year for my birthday. My older sister bought me a bunch of like Victoria's Secret stuff. But this is my favorite. Like, this is the one I've used almost completely. So if you're watching there, just Baby sister needs some more. <laughs> she thought I'd throw that out there. So anyways, um, another thing, this is actually a drink. And I've been drinking a lot. Tezo chai tea. I'm a huge, 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 huge coffee drinker. I drink coffee so much. But I love coffee, but I hate because I drink it all day at work. I hate the color that leaves on my teeth throughout the day. And of course, I'm not going to brush my teeth all day at work, so I don't like that. I like the feeling that the coffee gives me because other than that, I'm like kind of uh, druggy, drug, you know, like pretty much moody as hell. She's not language, but I'm moody as hell when I don't have this. So, this doesn't even have caffeine in it, so I don't even know why I like it. Like, maybe there's, is there like caffeine in black tea? I don't know. But this is chai. It's um, spiced black tea. It's a spiced black tea latte, which is so good. Like, I got hooked on these during the summer. Um... In the summertime, downtown, they had, in the, in the park downtown, they had, like, this kiosk where they were just making coffee and teas and stuff. And I asked the girl one day, I'm like, what do you, what's really good tea? And she told me the chai tea. And they used the exact same brand. And, of course, they used the steamer and the milk. And it was so good. I bought it maybe three to four times out the week. And it was, like, $3.50 each time, which that really adds up. This whole container was $5 from Kroger, and all you do is you mix equal parts of milk and equal parts of the chai, and you heat it up. You can either heat it up on top of the stove or in the microwave, which I do in the microwave. So that's just going to go to Ikea get a little teapot that you put on the stove just because I think it's cute to do my chai tea in a teapot. I don't know. So my voice easier. And this is really good. I love this. So, so good. And it's cheaper. Oh, and this whole thing lasts me a whole week. 
five dollars a whole week where I was paying three fifty a day for it. So this is definitely a money saver. Okay, on to makeup. Um, as far as like hi I like to hydrate hydrate my lips. My lips get really dry, so I hydrate them before I put lipstick on or lip gloss on. And I also hydrate them before I go to bed at night because I don't like waking up to really dry lips. So I've been like hooked on this. I used to use Carmex, but not anymore, my friend. This I like this new ant by Salma Hayek. It's a hydrating balm. And it's kind of expensive though, but I bought it when it was on sale. So I don't know if I would buy it. I probably would buy it again. So I've used quite a bit of it. It has a really nice soft smell, not too nothing too strong. And it feels so much better. I hate the medicated taste of Carmex. When I put Carmex on, I try to lick my lips because I hate the taste. So this is really good. And this is like seven forty nine at CVS, but then I have a two dollar coupon. So I love this. This is so good. Um, another lip product um, I've been wearing when I just throw something on throughout the day if my lips comes off and I'll just put this on. This is the NYX Round 2 Gloss and Natural. And it's just a natural look. But, you know, it's a gloss. I like the look. It's like a pinky, nudish, natural color. It's kind of the color of my, of my lips without gloss. So it's a natural color, you know, natural color, something quick to put on. So I really, I keep that gloss. Like I got a thing of like lipsticks and glosses that I keep where I keep my makeup. But then this gloss, I keep in my purse, my makeup bag at all times, and put it back in there because it's just a go-to thing. I also keep this. So another lipstick, which I'm only worn a few times this month, but it is still all in all my favorite. I search high and low for this lipstick, so when I found it, like, you're going to be my favorite, <laughs> which is the Revlon Matte Lipstick in Wine Knot. This is a really pretty, like, matte color. It's um, burgundy. It's like a vampire-ish look, which I like, and that's how it looks. It is a matte lip gloss, which I'm not really, I don't really care for matte lip glosses, but I do put the my high lip hydrating balm under it and a little on top just to get like that plump, you know, that really moist, just the look. And as far as my, um, I don't do the the L'Oreal foundation every day because sometimes I like the look. <coughs> I don't. Sometimes I don't want the medium coverage and I want something with the light coverage. So I've been. This is another favorite of mine, which is the Nuance. Um, Tinted moisturizer in light to medium. I don't like this. It's a really light. It's a moisturizer, but it's tinted and it's very light coverage. But your skin still gets like an even tone. I actually have it on now. You get like an even tone, and it's, but it's light coverage. So you really, I feel like I don't have anything on because it's a moisturizer. So I feel like I have moisturizer on. I like that. I don't like the the foundation every day. But this I like. A lot. Okay, um, mascara. This is my favorite mascara right now. It's Maybelline's Falsy Volume Express Mascara in Black Drama. I like the container. The little tube it comes into. It's so cute. I love purple. And I like it because I don't wear false lashes, but this silly makes my lashes look a little longer than they are, and it also gives them, makes them look fuller, and it makes them look dark. And I love this. It's not when I was first bought this, I didn't like it because I don't think I was putting it on right because it would look really clumpy. But I finally mastered it because I just take this. I I hold it like this, like it has a curve. I hold it with the curve going up, and I just put it on. Wait, no, not going up. I turn it, and then I just like this, and it flips the whole lash. I don't know. However, I was doing the other time, it did not work, but. I like this. This is a must. And it's really inexpensive. I got this from CVS for $8, I think. But CVS always has sales on their cosmetics. So what I did was I waited till they had Maybelline on sale. I would get one half off, so I bought two things. Another thing that I bought when I bought this, which is my favorite, um, is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner. I was using the ELF Cream Liner which is cool, but 
it takes a little bit more time for me to put it on because I'm not that, that good, that great with putting the cream lighter on with the brush. I'm not that neat, so I have to take my time and take forever. This is really good for something fast, which is a the liquid liner, but it comes in this sponge, as a sponge like applicator, which I can pretty much line it without holding. Like with the cream liner, I have to hold right here and do it. With this, I can just pretty much just look in the mirror and put it on without having to do. It's just pretty fast. I like this. It's really, really fast. I love it. It stays on all day. It's nice and matte color. So, I love it. Last two things are, no, I have three things. So, I'm going to show you, these are like my favorite blushes. I've been into blush so much now. Like, I love the way it looks on your cheeks. It's so pretty. So, my favorite favorite that I've been using quite a bit is this L'Oreal Super Blendable Blush. This is limited. The run project Project Runway. Ah, I trip up my words. The Project Runway Limited Edition Blush and Watchful Isle. You know, Owl. Who? Who? Owl. I can't pronounce it, but you know. It's like this really pretty, like coral color. Has a little shimmer in it. Very soft color. It's so pretty on. Super pigmented. I'll show you. I actually have it on now, and it's really like a light color. So, those days when you want to wear blush, but you don't want something that's just so, like, out there, I use this. Like, I've been using this a lot. I love this. And, it's not as messy as my other favorite blush, which is this one. And this one, oh, yeah, this one I bought from, I bought from Kroger's for $7, $7.49. So if you go to the drugstore, you're going to pay up. Ten dollars for it, and I mentioned before that if you go to Kroger's, their makeup is twenty percent cheaper than the drugstore, at least twenty percent cheaper. Um, this one is very inexpensive. I got this from CVS. This is what a Wet and Wild um, blush. And they're two ninety nine. This is in Mellow Wine. This color is a little bit more bright as far as the other the other color. I'll show them to you side by side. I'm just going to dump the brush out. Okay. So yeah, the one at the top, which is the Wet n Wild, is a little bit more brighter. This is a, like, more, it has a little shimmer, but it's more matte than the other one. And it's a lot brighter. That's the color. You see that? I don't know, but it's a lot more brighter. So... I like it. It lasts. It lasts long. Um, only thing I would say I don't like about it, which is kind of similar to, you know, one of the disadvantages of this, and as well as the Elf brushes, when you use a brush, a sound, a blush brush, and you put it in here, it tends to get powdery, like the product breaks up, so it begins to get messy, and you get the powder in your workstation. But all in all, I still like it. It's um, highly, highly pigmented, so you don't need a lot of this. Like, I put more of this on because it's a lighter color, so I'm, it allows me to put more on. But this, I have to have a really light hand with this. Like, when I put it on the brush, I even tap off a little excess because it is super-duper bright, super pigmented, and I don't want to look like a clown. So I have to just do it really, like, you know, really light, slightly. Okay? So, yeah, that's that. Those are the stupid brush that I hate. I don't use this brush. I don't even know why it's in there. So I'm going to take this out and toss it. Because <laughs> it just falls out and I don't use it. I use my blush brush. Okay, then this is like my favorite, 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 favorite. And it's probably my favorite forever. Well, until I run out and probably buy another one. The Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is my favorite. This is my all time, my monthly, monthly. This is the fav my most favorite item this month. I bought it this month as well. It's the Urban Decay palette. I'm not going to get into too many extremes about like as far as a review because I did a review on it. If you'd like to see the review on it, then click the link below. It's just a nice neutral palette, which I've been wearing quite frequently. You see this is the only um, eyeshadows that I've shown you on my favorites this month. So that goes to show you that I've been using this palette, which has a bunch of colors. So yeah, I've been using that quite a lot. This is great for the fall. It's nice neutral colors. 
So anywho, that's my favorite gift, guys. And that's pretty much it. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.